All, the, all of the parenting stresses me out, all of it. Like, right from the beginning, when, you, like, when you're pregnant, you've got to think of a name for your kid. You're like, right, we're going to have to name it. That's tradition. We're going to have to give it a name. <laughs> and it's hard to think of a name for a kid, because that's their name. That's going to be their name all their life if it pans out. <laughs> and I'm an indecisive person. I struggle to think of passwords for websites, and you get help for that, don't you? Like, oh, no, weak. <laughs> And names go in and out of fashion, don't they? Some names, they can be in fashion, but they don't come back in. We all know those names. And I tell you a thing that's back in fashion now, and I find it fascinating, is virtue names, right? That is back in fashion, those virtue names. It's a sort of Victorian notion that if you name your kid after a virtue, they might live up to that virtue. But that's risky business, isn't it? That's hubris. I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't, you could call your son Victor. He could end up a bit of a loser. <laughs> Ernest, he could become a bullshitter. Grace is an ever popular name. I wouldn't risk it. You could call your daughter Grace. She could end up a sort of galumphing oaf. <laughs> sacking her head on low beams. <laughs> falling into crockery at dinner parties. <laughs> You'd be like, oh, come on, Grace. Do your laces up, babe. <laughs> Stop farting. <laughs> Prudent, she'll end up lip deep in debt, wouldn't she? Chastity. <laughs> Although my son is called Frank. Someone said to me, you've done it, innit? You've called your son Frank. That's a virtue. To be honest, to be above board, to be trustworthy. I was like, oh, shit, never thought of that. <laughs> He'd end up an estate agent now, would he? <laughs> he's funny, Frank. I think he's funny. I would say that, wouldn't I? Because I'm his mum. He's like, funny, my child's funny. Tell a joke. <laughs> But I think he's funny, right? I went to pick him up from school the other day. I pick him up every day because they get proper arsey if you don't. <laughs> they do. They ring you. They're like, where are you? I'm like, TK Maxx, where are you? Oh, all right, then, yeah. <laughs> so, yes, I, uh, I went to pick him up from school and I was late and I wasn't being very late back that day. I was running a bit late, a bit stressed. I had my eldest with me. I had my mate's two kids that were coming back for tea. I thought we'd just get him and go. He's in reception. I was like, right, we'll just get off, yeah? But the teacher stopped me. She went, can you wait, actually? Can we have a quick chat in that, you know, voice? <laughs> so I had to arrange my face into one of those mum pretending to give a shit faces. <laughs> I said, go on, what's he done? She said, do you want to tell Mummy what you did today, Frank, or shall I tell Mummy? He's got upset now. He's like, you tell Mummy. <laughs> I'm like, what's he done? What? She said, uh, look, today, Frank um, st stuck a digit up the teaching assistant's bottom. <laughs> said, oh, well, that's not ideal, is it? It's very difficult to know what to do with your face. <laughs> I was going through all the faces in my phone. <laughs> she said, we've talked about bodies, haven't we, Frank, and areas of bodies that we respect. I thought now would be a really bad time to go, <laughs> This is awful. I mean, this is a finger up the TAs. I mean, this is now they're teaching numeracy in primary education now. Sort of like, oh, if Frank's got one finger up the TA's arse, how many fingers are still on the outside? 